Welcome back, President Sisi and Chinese uh, President Xi Jinping after holding a meeting on Wednesday in the presidential palace in the Chinese capital, Beijing. The meeting is to discuss boosting bilateral ties in various domains. The visit coincides with the 10th anniversary of raising ties between the two sides to the level of comprehensive strategic partnership. They are also to discuss regional and international issues of mutual concern, the top of which the war in Gaza means of regaining stability in the region. They will witness the signing of a number of deeds and memoranda of understanding in various fields. The CC had arrived earlier on Tuesday in Beijing upon an invitation from the Chinese president. During the visit, the CC will hold a meeting with the heads of a number of joint Chinese companies over attracting more investment to Egypt. He will also attend the inaugural session of the 10th ministerial meeting of the Arab Chinese Forum to be held on May 30th, bringing together the Chinese president and a number of Arab leaders. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri is in Beijing to prepare for the 10th ministerial meeting of the Arab Chinese Forum to be held next Thursday. The forum is described as a platform for dialogue and cooperation between China and the Arab countries. The forum was launched in September 2004 in a communique in the Arab League in Cairo after a visit by the Chinese president back then. Egyptian Chinese relations have been progressing in all fields over the past six decades. These relationships have proven their ability to cope up with the, the international, regional and internal developments. The relationship between Egypt and China has been excellent since the inception of bilateral relations several decades ago. The two sides have established diplomatic relations in May 1956, but in fact bilateral relations have been time-honored and well-established for years and years before that date. The strategic and political benefits of close relations between Egypt and China include establishing strategic partnership, which will pave the way for more projects in Egypt as a major country in the Middle East and North Africa, as well as the establishment of logistical projects and areas for ships, services and industries related to maritime transportation along the Suez Canal axis to take advantage of the Chinese Silk Road and new Suez Canal to activate trade with world countries. Egyptian-Chinese relations have been progressing in all fields over the past six decades. These relations have proven their ability to cope up with the international, regional and internal developments. The two countries also adopt compatible policies in terms of working for peace in all parts of the world calling for democratization of international relations and establishing fair and just political and economic world order that is based on mutual respect between countries. The two countries also adhere to the principle of non-interference in the internal affairs of other countries and seek to resolve conflicts through peaceful means. This policy is reflected in the stance towards each other in various international forums, especially regarding regional and international disputes. Egypt confirms its firm position that there is one state of China, which is the People's Republic of China, which China has adopted a stand in favor of the choice of the Egyptian people during the past five years and has repeatedly declared its rejection of any foreign interference in the Egyptian affairs. Also, China seeks to benefit from the advantages enjoyed by Egypt, including a huge market, which includes about 110 million consumers, and Egypt could be the gateway for Chinese products and several other markets, such as the European Union, Comesa member states, Arab countries, and the United States. China realized that economic geography is more important than political geography. In 2007, China held the 17th National Conference of the Chinese Communist Party. The conference focused on opening to the outside world. In November 2012, the Chinese Communist Party approved in its conference the amendment of the party constitution and introduced the concept of scientific development to coordinate economic and social development in China. The Land Silk Road and Incense Route linked between Egypt and China not only commercially and economically, but also culturally, intellectually and scientifically. 
quite as important, and the Suez Canal has played an important role in trade exchange between Egypt and China in ancient times, and now the Suez City was selected also in modern times to establish an economic zone as part of the Egyptian-Chinese cooperation. Israel pounded the Rafah with air strikes and tank fire on Tuesday, pressing its offensive in Gaza's southern city despite international condemnation. 